guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beninen, and for today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Kinlo Golden Rays Tinted Sunscreen SPF 50. And this one had some pretty good tints as far as how it looked on the bottle. So I was excited to try this one. This one was created by tennis star Naomi Osaka. So this one you can get on the Kinlo website. You can get two ounces for $19.99. I got mine from Walmart and it was $11.97 at the time. They claim that the original formula is tinted for melanin rich skin, used for daily wear, it's water resistant, sweat proof. It's supposed to mattify the skin without leaving a white cast and give it a natural flawless finish. It's supposed to be lightweight and non-comedogenic. So it comes in three different shades. The light is supposed to be for ivory to beige skin tones. The medium is for olive to chestnut skin tones and then the deep is for mahogany to espresso skin tones. I picked it up in the deep and that is their deepest shade. The active ingredient in here is zinc oxide 12%. So it says on their site to use one to two pumps, which is what I did. I did two pumps for my face and my neck. Formula is very runny. The match to my skin isn't the best. So the first day I wore this, I kind of just slathered it onto bare skin, which I would not recommend doing. I found that it harder, a little bit harder to get it to spread out and it just did not look good at all. One thing I'll say though is that on the website it says that it's supposed to be a more mattifying finish and I did not see that at all to me this was a natural to glowy finish I did let it dry down 15 minutes and I'm showing you it in window lighting you can see that it's definitely a more natural to glow I'm not getting any matte whatsoever I did wear it for two hours came back this is what it's looking like it looks very glowy to me especially in my t-zones and it didn't feel that great honestly the next day i wore it i was like okay we can't just slap this one on this is not that type of sunscreen so i put a moisturizer on and then i split my face in half half of my face you're gonna see me putting it on with a brush like i would any sort of makeup product i use a brush i don't really use my fingers so i put it on with a brush on one side the other side i put it on in layers and gently rubbed it in. So the brush obviously picks up some of the sunscreen, so I ended up using a little bit of more, more of it so I can get the same amount on both sides. And then on the other side, you'll see me kind of dabbing it on in I think three or four layers. And I'll say I prefer putting this on in layers. The brush does work, um, but I just think the finish looks better when it's on in smaller layers, in my opinion. Um, again, the color isn't really a match for my skin tone, um, even though this is their deepest shade. But it did look better this day than it did on the next day one other thing is that the side that i use the brush with does look kind of glowier than the side that i patted it in i waited 15 minutes and this is what it's looking like in window lighting if you look at my neck and my face you'll see that it's not really a good color match for me but it does look a little bit more natural than it did with the other one. I'd say if you have a lighter complexion than me um, and you match the tint, this could be a really good tinted option. But if you are not a, a perfect match to the tint, don't even bother. I tried to wear this with some other makeup. So on the side of my face that I use the brush, I went ahead and put some blush on and then I set it down with some powder. And as you guys will see, the powdered side looks way better in my opinion. I just don't like to look very glowy from the start because I have oily skin. So I wanted to make sure that this product does work with other products and it's not going to cause it to like separate or break up or anything. And it did work fine with my blush and my powder. I wore it for two hours, came back. This is what it's looking like. In my opinion, the powdered side does look better. Um, also, I just think the blush added a little bit more dimension to my face, but the non-powdered side is a little bit more greasier to me, so I didn't set it down with a setting spray like I would normally. This is just with the powder and blush, but it does work with other makeup products and it looks fine. The only thing is it's not mattifying like it says. It is definitely glowy in my opinion. So overall with the Kinlo sunscreen, I'd 
say that, again, if you're the perfect match to the shades that they have, then this is a decent option. Although it says that it's mattifying and people with oily skin might want to test it out, to me, it's not really mattifying. It is definitely glowy. So I'd say that this is designed more for people with dry to normal skin types. If you have oily skin, definitely go in and use a powder or a setting spray to kind of keep it in control. Um, I did personally find that it was a little bit greasy and it transferred a lot to my clothes, to my hands. Anytime I touched my face, it was everywhere. So I didn't find that it was irritating. It didn't really cause me any breakouts or anything. I just think the tint and the finish were not for me, but they could be for you. The Kinlo one was a decent option as well. I think that one is more of makeup than it is sunscreen. I just think when products are that much tinted or a perfect match, I tend to put less of it on, like I would put makeup. I don't put that much makeup on. But if you are like the perfect match to the shades, it could be a decent option as long as you're powdering it down. If you loved it, let me know. If you hated it, also let us know down in the comments section below. We don't all like the same thing or hate the same things. If you have any other sunscreen recommendations, let us know down in the comments and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye!